Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Madisonville Marine. Today is the final day of the Downtown Knoxville Boat Show. Over at the Convention Center, see a great selection of boats from Madisonville Marine right here in Knoxville and take advantage of boat show pricing. Today is the final day. Between our show and the tournament, between the finals and the SEC and the NCAA selection show, that's when you need to get down there. I'm guessing they got TVs down there. Somebody has thought to put a Tennessee basketball game on TV down there. Madisonville Marine at the Downtown Knoxville Boat Show. Okay, up next we're going to run through about 60 teams on a big board to show you who the good matchups are, the bad matchups are, but we need to catch up. So I'm going to very quickly show you how we arrived at our numerical formula. So let's go to this fingerprint, I call it. Tennessee's fingerprint. We looked at 15 stats from Ken Pomeroy, the guru of basketball. Mark, you're a big fan of Ken Pomeroy, mm -hmm. are you not? Yes, you're, absolutely. You're a geek like me. <laughs> uh, but you've got all the numbers there. You don't have to memorize that. I'm just showing you the kind of stuff we looked at. Found a lot of stats that when you look back at Tennessee's roster, I mean Tennessee's schedule, and we went through every stat on this page for every team Tennessee played. We looked at the losses and what stood out. So we took those numbers where you had like, if ten, for example, when Tennessee holds its opponent to 67 points or less, they're 18 and one. All right, that's a pretty big stat there. So you're five and six otherwise. That's a pretty big difference. So we would include something like that in our grade. And then what we did was we looked at how many red flags. So there's nine stats that we wound up with. If Tennessee's better in all those stats, zero red flags. If the other team's better in all nine, okay, it's nine red flags, you don't want to be worried about that. Here's the question, did it work? We went back and applied it to the season. Let's take a look at the next graphic here. Against teams that had one, two, three, or four red flags in our system, Tennessee was 14-0 this year. Tennessee was 10-2 and two against teams that had five or six red flags. Georgia with five, Missouri with six. Tennessee was one and five on the season against teams with seven or eight. Nobody had nine. Seven or eight red flags, that was Villanova, Arkansas, Alabama, Auburn, and North Carolina. The only time Tennessee beat a seven or an eight red flag team in our system was yesterday when they came out and shot 75%, which I don't know that you can count on all that often. All right, all that said, we'll be looking at these numbers as applied to 60 different teams in the next segment. But right now, I want to ask these guys very quickly. Good run, bad run. If Tennessee has a good run in this NCAA tournament, why? Uh, I would say we shoot the ball well from the perimeter. I think teams are going to guard Grant Williams, Admiral Schofield. we got to be able to make shots in the perimeter. Okay. Shooting, but also rebounding. They got to do a good job with the rebounding. The defense has been pretty constant, so I feel good about that. But but sometimes rebounding. Like Georgia out rebounding in 38-28. They had a win, the, but that's the concern. Even when they were winning down the stretch, they were getting out rebounded several several of those games. I think Florida out rebounded them quite a bit as well. Josh, if I they win, I would say Tennessee's opponents don't shoot well from the outside. Okay. Uh, reason Tennessee would go out early in the NCAA's. What's the big concern? Guard play? What's your concern? Uh, for me, it's still uh, guarding ball screens and guarding just one-on-one -on -one quick ball handlers. Okay. Poor shooting by the guards. Bad three-point shooting game. Okay. Yeah, turnovers and uh, not shooting well from the outside. Okay, let me go ahead and put up a list here very quickly. Um, good and bad. One, this numbers-wise, Tennessee's defensive efficiency is top five in the nation. That's tremendous. South Carolina was a number four last year. They made it to the final four. Top 20 efficiency margin, that's Ken Pomeroy. Only four non-top 20 teams have made it to the final four in the last 10 years. So you got a pretty, you're in that top 20 range. Uh, and you're deep, as Mark's talked about since game one. Bad, if they have a bad run, it's going to be because guard play. Defensive rebounding, they, they have issues at times. And then outside the top 40 in offensive efficiency. Most of those teams don't make it, but one exception to the rule, South Carolina last year. South Carolina had a defense like Tennessee but their offense was worse than Tennessee last year. So that gives you a little bit of hope. All right, so who do you want to see when the selection committee show starts this afternoon? Who do you want to see pop up on the bracket opposite Tennessee in the first round? Who do you want to see waiting another the road in the second round? Next two segments, we're going to run through 60 teams. And I'm going to lose my voice going back. <laughs>